Hello everyone, this is Viren and welcome to the fantasy match preview for the big game between Gujarat and Bangalore. Now before I get to the preview, keep in mind that the fan to play leaderboard is currently in its third phase and you have an exclusive chance to go all the way to Australia and watch the T20 World Cup final. So download the fan to play app right now if you haven't already. I know many of you are already at the top of that leaderboard. If not, download right now, play with 25 teams and along with that obviously, you have a lot of cash prizes to win and other chance that will also come soon for you to top the leaderboard as well. So stay tuned, make 25 teams and win lots of prizes. So first up, the keepers and the batters for this game. Now this game is going to be played at Brabon where we have typically seen higher scores. Are we going to see a higher score or not in this game? Totally depends on the pitch. Like you've been seeing, there are a lot of varied pitches across the grounds. But for now, assuming that the pitch is decent for batting and trying to make a balanced team, so my keeper for this game is going to be Ridhiman Saha, he's going to open the batting and if conditions are good, he can set in and get you a decent score. The other option is DK, whose form has been exclusive, but at the other end, he's batting a little too low and if the pitch is indeed good for batting, then he might not get too much of a chance, but we know how RCB has been collapsing too. Apart from that, three batters for me, Faf, Duplessis and Kohli. Very obvious choices, even the third choice, Gil, is supremely obvious. Now, like I mentioned, if the pitch is actually good for batting, then the top order becomes crucial. But we know RCB has been collapsing too. So, do you want to take a risk on someone like Suyash Prabhudesai or the likes? It's something you'll have to measure based on the fact that if you feel that there will be some movement up front, then maybe you can take that chance. Now, let's get to the next section. Then we have the all-rounders and the bowlers for this game. Now, my first all-rounder is Hardik Pandya. Pure play because of the fact that he has looked like one of the best batters itself in the tournament till now. He's not bowled in the last few games, very important. That's because his team has had a lot of bowling options. They've added on to that bowling because they haven't been using or haven't been required to use that depth in batting that much. So he becomes my first option and he is my vice captain for this game. Second pick would be Glenn Maxwell. Now looking at the way RCB has been batting and the odd collapse here and there would mean that Maxwell would get a decent opportunity to bat. And NC becomes my captain, especially because he might also bowl against the likes of Miller and Tevatia. Apart from that, I have five bowlers in this game. Now, even though I mentioned that this pitch is better for batting, we're typically seeing two teams here who have had a few collapses or have had a few falls. And both of these teams are more known or the more consistent performances have come from their bowling attack. Hence, I'm backing them. My five bowlers are... Alzari Joseph. Now, Alzari Joseph might seem like a surprise to you, but with that pace and bounce, he can dismiss the likes of Virat and Faf up front, especially because they have been getting, getting dismissed too soon, really often. Apart from that, Lockie and Rashid, both of whom are good big spool in the middle order for you, so become good choices. And like I mentioned, Rashid can be a good captaincy choice in the Grand League team. And then your two bowlers. Now, this is tricky, obviously, from RCB. We have a lot of credit issues too. So now I'm going with Hazelwood and Hasaranga. Hasaranga has started to get into the flow, obviously no one's happier than me and again he becomes a good GL captaincy choice as well. Apart from that you have Harshal who I will surely pick if he bowls first and you have also Shami but again due to credit issues I have not picked him. You can pick him in place of an RCB bowler especially if you feel that there will be another collapse in this game. Now let's get to the team and the matchups. So finally, this is what the team looks like. We have one keeper, we have three batters, we have two all-rounders and five bowlers. Obviously, many of those bowlers can bowl too with the likes of Rashid and Hasaranga in that lineup. So let's get to the matchups now. So we have the matchup section for this game. The first matchup, Siraj has dismissed Saha twice. Again, the strike rate is only around 100. So will we see Siraj opening the bowling? Should happen looking at this piece of data. Apart from that, two really big matchups, Kohli dismissed four times by Shami. Again, the strike rate is hovering somewhere around 130, which is decent. But looking at current form, Shami can have the upper hand. Like I mentioned, if you can make the credit adjustment, then Shami becomes a good choice for you, especially if he bowls first. And the last matchup, obviously, you will be quite surprised by this, that Faf has been dismissed twice by Rashid. But the surprising part being that that strike rate is only 50 to 60. So that becomes a really important matchup in the middle overs. And now we have the fan to play challenge section where you can make your team with just two, three or four players. For me in this game, I'm going with two picks. Hardik Pandya, Glenn Maxwell, both very obvious choices, giving you all-round value, both facets. Hardik might not be bowling much off late, but that will come sooner too. If you want risky choices, you also have Rashid and Asaranga. So if you're going with four players, then those are my four players in total for you. Apart from that, join me on my Telegram channel 
for the final team and some GLDs too. All the good luck to you.